Hey y'all, it's Anime Kim, and today I'm going to be reviewing episode 17 of You Know. And I gotta say, this episode was... Damn! It was pretty fucking good, and let me explain why. For one, we have a lot of plot progression. More than I could have possibly imagined going into this one, because for one, you finally have Takia find the last spear for his reflector device near the end of the episode, which was in the clock of his father's house, and in a way. So, for one, we made that plot progression. Two, we find out that the Della Granso is the dimension where Takia's mother is from and where Kana's mother is from. And so we find out they're from like a different dimension. And additionally, that's where the reflector device came from because Takia's mother had that and then she gave it to Takia's dad. And then afterwards, we find out that Takia's dad try to go to the Del Granto to try to find Taka's mother. So all in all, there were a lot of positive, um, a lot of positive plot progressions in regards to this episode. And all the information came up naturally too. It didn't feel like boring ass exposition dump. It came all through natural dialogue. So from a story standpoint, this episode did really, really good. And additionally, it really made you feel for Kana because for one, we definitely see that she doesn't have much appreciation for us from herself. But when Takia mentioned to Kana that she wants to make he wants to make sure that she's not by herself anymore and that she can live with him, that was really suing to see Kana tear up. Really was a heartwarming scene. It was just a shame that the gem that she had, the the psychite, fell on the ground, and that's when her condition worsened. And that's what I, another element I liked about this episode because. After Hojo's taken down, you see Takia have a newfound goal, which is to travel to the Della Granzo to try to find Psychic so that Kana can recover. So I like that. You see Takia with a new goal in mind, so now he actually has a specific aim instead of just trying to live out the dimensions and trying to find that information slowly. Now he has a specific goal, which is to try to find a Psychic to help out Kana. So I like that. It raises the narrative stakes because at this point the episode established Kana's cool personality so that now when we see Takia, we can actually root for him even more because we want Kana to be fine. So in all in all, this episode did a lot of things wonderfully from a script standpoint. And I'd say really the only fuck up, and this is kind of a relatively big fuck up, was when we find, and it's established that Hoja's taken over by Ryoshoji's Niarab. They introduced plots to put it into a show with you, and I'm like, oh god, not this shit again. Fuck! Because, just think about it. When Mutsuki was taken over by Roshoji Nyerab, she had a gun with her. And when Roshoji was um, confronting Takia in episode one, he had a fucking gun. When Hojo was possessed by Roshoji, he didn't have a fucking gun. He had a fucking knife, and I'm just thinking, Oh, God, Roshoji, you, you make sure when you possess people, they have guns. But in this specific instance, you have this person use a fucking knife? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know. The scriptwriters get other shit properly done, but in other shit, they just drop the ball. So that was an element I didn't like about this episode. And they really dropped the ball there. And they could have easily just have Hojo use a gun, about to use it. Then they could have had maybe like er Eriko shoot Hojo from behind. And so literally they could have avoided this plot hole by just doing what I just mentioned right now. And it would have made the episode flow better. Now don't get me wrong, seeing Takia take down Hoji when Hoji's using the knife it was a badass sequence, don't get me wrong. It was well animated. But after I saw the episode, my mind was just thinking, but wait, Rishoji, when he possesses people and when he uses his own body, he usually has a gun on him. Why didn't he have a gun this time? Probably because the writers didn't really think this shit through. But had they just done what I mentioned, having Rico shoot Hojo from behind, it would've made shit better. So that was like the only plot thing in this episode I didn't like. And aside from that though, everything else was well done. And from a character standpoint, we get a lot of character development. We see Takia become much more mature. And we see, and it's implying that Mio's kind of accepted that 
Takia, at least from Neil's standpoint, she probably believes that Takia has a thing for Kana. And I like how this episode shows Mio's maturity too, because despite that, you see Mio wanting Kana to like be in a happy situation. So not only do you see Takya's increased maturity because he wants the best for Kana, you see Mio's maturity too because she wants the best for Kana. And same with Yuki. So you get character Melon from that standpoint, and you see Kana also gets himself a pre issue. You can tell like when Takya said that she wanted to kind of look to live with her, you can tell it made her really, really happy in a way. So there was like multiple great character moments in this episode, and there was character growth. So I love that about this episode. Animation art were actually good too during the physical action sequences. And the voice performances were amazing, especially from Takya's actor. Dang, he did such a wonderful job. So all in all, a lot of great things in this episode. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode easily a 8.5 out of 10, actually. I still think this is a great episode. The only thing keeping it from an eye out of 10 is the lack of a gun on Hojo. Had he used a gun, this episode could have easily been a 9 or a 9.5 out of 10. But since they introduced plot stupidity into Rishoji, I honestly can't rate it anything higher than that. But yeah, other than that though, I thought this episode was great. And I cannot wait to see more. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on, you know, episode 17. Be sure to comment on your thoughts and leave us in the costume below. Be sure to rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back more. Alright, bye bye everyone.